Hey guys, we're out today. Check out the Radio Link RC6GS, I think it is. Yeah, RC6GS version 2. Um, the big deal about this radio, of course, is that it's, it's really low budget and has dual antennas. Um, you have to forgive the noise today. We got like 30 mile per hour wind, so no speed runs, but at least I can do a little range test. But but you'll notice here I got one antenna straight up and then one at a 90. I just took a heat gun and bent this and uh, the goal there is to be able to capture all the possible radio waves. Um, did some light reading and, and that's what they indicate is the best setup for this. One of the things that's really interesting, the antennas that come with the receiver are, are real long. I'll pull this one up so you can see what I'm talking about here. So they call this um, part at the end that's unshielded, sometimes it's referred to as a whisker, and uh, it's sort of tuned to be about one quarter of the length of the antenna on the transmitter. So that's sort of how it works. and all the length of the wire here isn't actually receiving anything it's this end the whisker that's actually doing the receiving so consider that uh, it also needs to be really straight you know if you have this thing bent it's not going to work as well so anyway i've got this kind of set up here where it's inside the box and, and two antennas i just drilled a second hole on the top of the box and got the Sky RC GPS over here and made a little 3D printed case that can be mounted with a screw or it's got slots for zip ties. Um, so GPS everything zero track mode and we're gonna start. It's got 12 GPS right now. Radio turned on. And I just have um, double A's in this today, so nothing, um, it, it actually will handle 2S all the way up to 4S, but I just have double A's in there. All right, looks like that's ready to go. So I'm setting this up with one antenna, the one that's kind of sideways will stay under the body shell and then the other one will stick up above the body shell. Um, I've seen a lot of range tests with this radio and everybody kind of uh, gives up around a thousand feet. They're like, well, it goes as far as as I can run it or as far as I can see. And um, I was a little disappointed in those reviews. You know, if they say they're a range test review, then let's see what the range is. Um, this road is one that just kills me because it's it looks really great because there's just this farmer's field off to the right and uh, what kills me I've actually never driven this car till today so this is its first maiden voyage what kills me is that it looks really good, but it's it's bumpy, uh, which is a shame because it's it's pretty close to where I live, which would be really nice. And almost no traffic. I rarely see cars down here. It's getting to the point where I can't hardly tell where it's going. But it's still in range. noise or the sorry the wing noise uh, I can't see the car I think I went off the road so let's <laughs> let's head down there see what it was maybe I'll be another one of those that uh, only went a thousand feet because that's as far as I can see
car coming up there, so I want to make sure I put this limitless is not in the center of the road somewhere. side of the road and just pull off here all right so let's see is really small I went 1,594 feet and uh, it was still still going I just couldn't see the car and went off the road the, uh, I'm gonna move over to the trunk of the car so I can cast some shade on the phone in case in case it wasn't visible There it is, 1,594 feet. Um, and like I said, it was it was still going. Um, so I can imagine what they claim around up to 1,900 feet is, is possible. Um, something to note, especially when you got homes, you know, people's Wi-Fi networks are 2.4 gigahertz, the same as our RC radios and uh, power lines can send out some EMF that, that might interfere. Uh, i seen one guy mentioning if there's like a big green transformer box, uh, he had some radio interference, maybe related to that. So anyway, it, it goes further than I can see, which is amazing. Uh, and again, that's on double A's on the transmitter. So uh, who knows what it might be able to do with the uh, 4s lipo or something like that um so overall thumbs up for me uh, on this radio i think it's pretty good and you know 70 dollar radio it's got tons of functions in it epa expo throttle curves braking curves all, all sorts of stuff that you might need it's got uh, abs braking in there and just rods 